Gates and something's got to give. Frank Waller, sponsored by Raymond Steele, proudly presents 12 three-minute rounds for the British and Commonwealth welterweight championship, live and exclusive on Box Nation from the Olympia here in Liverpool. Your officials are appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control and the Commonwealth Boxing Council. Your three scoring judges of ringside are Mr. Richie Davies of All Hallows Kent, Mr. Phil Edwards of Preston, and Mr. Dave Paris of Leeds. Your steward in charge is Mr. Charles Giles, and your timekeeper of the bell is Andy East. And when the action begins, your referee in charge is Mr. Howard Foster of Doncaster. And now to introduce the contestants. Firstly, in the red corner stands the Commonwealth champion. He brings with him an unbeaten record of 20 wins with 10 knockouts to his name. And yesterday's weigh in, he scaled 10 stone, 6 pounds, 10 ounces. And tonight he wears the black shorts. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Manchester. The Commonwealth Champion, the Dental Vassal! And across the ring in the blue corner stands the British Champion. His unbeaten record wins 15 wins with 11 knockouts to his name. He's Britain's only ever all amateur champion at yesterday's weigh-in. He scaled 10 stone, 6 pounds and 12 ounces. And tonight there's the white and blue shorts. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting and introducing the British World Toy Champion from Birmingham, Frankie Campbell. Your referee, Howard Foster, will now give his final instructions to both boxers. OK, fellas, sports you both in the dressing room. You both know what I expect. Keep it clean, break straight away when told. Don't watch your heads in close. But let's see about touch words. Ladies and gentlemen, 12 3 rounds for the British and Commonwealth Welterweight Championship. So the talking's over, Gavin against Vassell. Vassell, a fully-fledged welterweight. And there are those who suspect that Gavin, despite being a welterweight champion, that he could make light welterweight. Is that going to be a factor? Will the strength of Vassell tell? Or will the speed and accuracy and ring savvy of Gavin prevail? Yeah, well, I, I, I think that Gavin wins, but I mean, Vassell's not just a come-forward brawler. He's, he's Educate the pressure, then the Vassell. He doesn't get enough credit for his boxing ability. He's a good fighter, good boxer more than just a brawler. But he is physically strong, and if Gavin is not big enough for the weight, then he could be in trouble. But either way, John, this is champion versus champion, undefeated fighters. It doesn't get better than this. I'm told that Gavin has had the best preparation that he's had at any stage in his career. I guess people would say that, but you know, the whispers from inside the camp say that he's prepared very long and very seriously straight away with a bit of a clash of heads nice body shot from gavin who seems to have started well started nicely but a good left hand from gavin and again there the, for the first left hand was just slightly wobbled for sale i think caught him square square on for sale needs to keep moving our head constantly can't be a stationary target gavin Frank. such accurate as he throws his shots. Frankie Gavin says, I know his limitations and how to exploit them. Speed and angles and counter-punching. It's another nice left hand. He's finding Vassell an easy target to reach at the moment. Well, he's just getting his, his foot on the outside of Vassell's, isn't he, when he lands that straight left on the pipe. Vassell did a number on Ronnie Heffron. There's the heads clashing again. I hope that's not going to be a problem. I hope we're not going to see cuts determining what on paper is such a good fight. Marcel, a real pocket dynamo of a fighter. He's got a terrific physique. Always in the gym. 
lives the sport. Works in a bank away away from boxing. That's a lovely, lovely right hand lead from Gavin. Beautiful hand speed and accuracy. It was worrying signs for me for Fasel. He's so easy to and hit again. so early on, John. Again, the right hand of Gavin, accurate and fast. And and Gavin looking only too pleased to, oh. to try and match his strength against that of Vassell in these early stages. So great timing there of Gavin with that jab, superb. Just leaning back half an inch, coming back with a solid right hand. Heads rubbing together, I think, there, John. And, uh, and Vassell told for again. pulling him down. The head's going in again. Gavin looks very sharp, and it's a tentative sort of opening round from Vassell, who hasn't been able to produce the sort of intensity anticipated. And it'll be interesting to see how Bob Shannon, his trainer, tries to rouse him. Here's some action from the opening round. Look at that, just, just superb counter punching. That's that's the amateur pedigree shining through. And it's what you mentioned earlier before the fight, John. It's the angles that, that Gavin's getting on Vassell, catching him square constantly. And I think he shook him up a few times in that round. A bad start for Vassell. He's going for that left hand, didn't he, yeah, Gavin? Yeah. Did you see him? Yeah. So go to your left more. Keep your hands clean. Remember, you're on the beach now. Clip them. There's a little bit of thing on. Really water. Yeah, don't be water now. You felt you, you felt you looked tired already, but when you get inside, whip him up downstairs. Yeah. Relax, relax, right? Relax. Okay. Yeah. But he's, he's looks terrified. He's terrified. He's terrified. He he's terrified. Yes. Will you jab more now? Go to jab. Go to him. Let him go. Well, trying to G Denton Vassell up, trying to give him some positive thoughts. Didn't look terribly tired to me, Frankie Gavin, in those first three minutes. Looked sharp, accurate, and it looked as though he got a very good game plan. Vassell needs to narrow the gap and needs to start landing some hurtful punches of his own because he didn't do much in that opening round. Well, he's finding it hard to shorten the gap, isn't he? And that's, but he needs to keep moving his head, he needs to keep staying low as he possibly can. But Gavin is a master counter puncher and he, he'll love you coming forward to him all day long. So it's, uh, it's a risky game for Vassell, it's the only way he's going to win. He's not going to win where he is now on the, on the back foot. South Paul with lots of mobility, Frankie Gavin. Back trained now by his old amateur trainer, Tom Chaney, who says that really the wake-up call which made him from just a promising fighter into one who they knew was destined for something very, very special was when, as an amateur, he was beaten by the great Mario Kindelan. He came back from that and made himself into a terrific fighter, won his last 30 amateur contests and now unbeaten in 15 as a pro. Had to take a good right hand there, though, off the cell, come, catching Gavin coming forward, and then Gavin pays him back with another left straight left on the middle. And again, that jab beautifully timed there from Gavin. Vassell trying to drag Gavin down. Trying to get him out of his rhythm, because it's questionably if Gavin's just allowed to settle into a nice boxing rhythm, He'll win this fight comfortably going away. Well, when Vassell, you know, sorry, Barry, Vassell cannot allow him to get into that sort of a mindset. Oh, good body shot there, straight down, right in the middle there from uh, Gavin. But when you're boxing someone who's got beautiful boxing skills, you have to fight at a high pace, don't give him a chance to get into their rhythm. And Vassell's trying to do that. But at the moment, in the early stage in the, in the fight, it's a 12-round fight, but at the moment, Gavin's still up to the task of conquering Vassell as he's coming in. He's had a bit of a, a struggle with movers in the past, Vassell. He's certainly got a very, very slippery character in front of him here tonight. And again, you can see Gavin this time. It is tying Vassell up and not allowing him to get off with those hurtful hooks. Two people standing around this auditorium trying to get a view because just one big shot from Vassell. That's a lovely jab from Gavin. Caught Vassell off balance and his pinpoint accuracy. That's right hand though from Vassell coming back in. It gives a distance for Gavin, it's superb, isn't it? Just it makes himself short, fall short with that jab and it comes back with a one-two. Vassell's not had a lot of competitive action, has he? Only one fight since November 2011.
Foster just uh, telling the two of them just to keep it clean. A lot at stake, and that's another good round for Frankie Gavin. Yeah, definitely, and he finished how he started, didn't he, with a nice little one-two. Again, been able to catch Purcell square-footed. That was a lovely jab. And he's winning on the straight shots, isn't he? Again, that's, he just takes a little lean back, doesn't he? Just half an inch, an inch. Just makes the cell fall short and counters immediately straight away. Not that yet. Technically yeah. superb. Listen, stop falling on top of your work. Top chain <laughs> with Frankie Gavin. Punch and adjust, they'll come again. Not winning much easier than money was. Two punch counters. Much easier than money was. Listen, big bamboo. You can do a bit more with your footwork this round. Yeah. Deep breath, Frank. Come on. on a two punch counter. Don't fall on top of your work. And that's when the head's going to... That's when the head's going to... Four minutes, ten seconds. Yeah. 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 That's some quality sparring, Frankie Gavin, and replicating or trying to replicate the style of Danton Vassell, Jason Wellborn, who he beat. Frankie Gavin, he's been sparring him, and also Curtis Woodhouse, who gave him arguably his most uncomfortable night. Yeah, I remember that night, wasn't it? He almost came and stuck against Woodhouse, who's uh, doesn't get the credit he deserves, does he, Curtis Woodhouse? A good fight in his own right. He fought well that night, Curtis. In fairness, Frankie was having some problems outside the ring at the time. Oh, that's beautiful stuff. Just noticed Gavin slipped a little bit on, and he slipped a few, a few times in that little uh, area of the ring. Lovely right-hand lead again from Gavin. And the cell is just having to eat leather every time. And he's taking his shots flush as well, isn't he? They're not glancing blows, they're hitting him right on the jaw. Cell though very experienced in his 21st fight tonight. Has a nice body shot from Vassell. Needs more of them, but look at Gavin. He's prepared to try and muscle Vassell around. He knows that a lot of people have said that the power and the strength lies with Vassell. It's as though at every opportunity he's trying to prove that that's a, a fallacious argument. Yeah, well, I think what he's actually doing is he's getting as close as he possibly can to Vassell, not giving him room to work, which is a good, good tactic. He's not going to muscle a lot of strength for Vassell, so he's getting really, really close. Vassell can't work, Vassell can't work, Vassell has to push him away, gives Gavin a bit of space then to do his own work. Vassell's danger shots are the hooks, particularly I, I suspect from the right hand side and Gavin stifling that. I guess Vassell knew he was going to have to give away some of these early rounds, hoping to tire Gavin out, with banking on the fact that Gavin maybe doesn't train as hard as he does. Now Foster's keeping busy in there, isn't he? That's a nice right hand from Vassell. With his fans a little bit more hope. Gavin turning the right hand lead into a hook into the rib cage of Vassell. with that uh, southpaw jab, Gavin. Right, it's all to do with the footwork, John. He's got his foot on the, on the outside of the cell's foot, and it gives him more space, more of an angle to land with that shot. Right on cue, another one. A bit scrappy, the mauling continues inside. The cleaner shots, unquestionably, coming from Gavin. With not as much success as he had in the first two rounds, which is, uh, I would imagine, would be for cell's plan. Still a round for Gavin for me, but for cell, Getting a little bit closer every time, isn't he? Yeah. Frankie yeah. Gavin won his British title from Junior Witter back in November. Don't let him walk you down without throwing a punch. And when he throws a punch, two punch counter, three punch counter. When you need it? Yeah. Easy. Listen, you've got to be focused all the time. Do not let him walk you down without him throwing a punch. Yeah? Make yeah? him. Fight with the left hand. Fight, fight, fight. <laughs> You need a jab uppercut. We need it. Coming in. He's going under the jab yeah. and he's coming in low. Big jab, uppercut, uppercut. Up back hand. Yeah, listen, uppercut, then slide out. And as he comes up, is that easy? Yeah. Easy. Listen. I want you to be careful because you're suppressing your own work. Yeah, no, yeah, I don't know. He's suppressing your own oh, work. He's falling on top. 
Yeah. Concentration on the face of Frankie Gavin. I heard a lovely quote from Tom Cheney about Frankie Gavin. He said, there's not a bad bone in his body. He said, there's a lot of daft ones, but not a bad one. <laughs> Well, to be honest, I think those problems that he's had in the past, we, we, we all sort of play on it too much now. I think they're, they're way past him now, and he's, you know, he's been a professional, proper professional for a while, hasn't he? Putting good performances, training right, living right. But for Fasselt, he's not going to beat Gavin with one punches yet, so he's punches in, in bunches, in combinations, and keep rolling forward whilst he's throwing those shots. I thought the old boxing news article about Denton. Oh, hello. That's soft. That's soft balance. That's no knockdown. I thought the boxing news article about Denton Vassell was a, a little bit harsh on Gavin, suggesting that he was the sort of guy who couldn't hold down a proper job for a week. <laughs> I think uh, once upon a time he could have said that, but he's he's kind of changed, doesn't he? I mean, we've seen that. He's a British champion. That's his job. Correct. Heads again. Vassell stalking him, trying to detonate some big punch. Not coming at the moment, though. Yeah, he's getting to close the gap quicker, isn't he, this, in this round? Like he did a little bit in the last round. Gavin's still been able to tick him off as he's coming in, but he's getting closer. Good left hand from Gavin. Excitable and committed crowd. Every decent punch which lands. An instantaneous response, and once again, use of the heads, and this time it's Gavin who gets told off by the referee. Gavin's too sharp and too fast for Fassell to box him on the outside. He, need, he needs to sometimes maybe commit to taking that jab off Gavin, then follow through with three, four shots. He needs to let his hands go, Fassell. Punching thin air with that jab. Gavin doing the right thing when he gets so close, he's spoiling. Not allowing Vassell a chance to work. Well, Vassell needs something special here, he needs to get into this fight, because at the moment, Gavin is negating pretty much everything that he's trying to do. Heads again from oh, a low punch this time. And Gavin's starting to get onto slightly thin ice here. He's been told off on more than one occasion by the referee. Good right hand there, John von Fussell. Needs Ma more. Made Gavin miss and, con and he counted this time. Now Fussell starts to go to work. Oh, lovely footwork from Gavin, working his way off those ropes there. over first three to Gavin number four you scored it too yeah I still got Gavin I still got Gavin but a, be but a better round for Vassell and I think you know if, if he's playing the long game he's trying to tire Gavin out that was that low blow the right hand it was and on the, the belt really it wasn't the sort of savage thing which uh, puts a man into considerable no. discomfort but to be honest the, the thing I worry about Gavin is he's been a little bit Rude with his head as well, he has to be careful of that. Clean shot down the middle. Every time you haven't hit with a clean shot, yeah, but when you hit him with a little one, you see what he's like. Yeah. He's really hurting in there. Yeah. Work the jab, the think, jab. think a bit, think a bit. But when you set, he's going to grab you, he's coming down, uppercut. Really could step back, bang. Yeah. Little step back, give yourself that room, room, room. Oh, come, on, come on, enjoy it. Come on, right, I'm going to him, Don't drag him out. Stepping up. Bob Shannon, who has the dream one day of training a world champion. How he'd love that man to be Denton Vassell. At the moment, though, we've got Frankie Gavin ahead here. Gavin, the southpaw from Birmingham against Manchester's Denton Vassell. And he's found Gavin an altogether more slippery and elusive target than Ronnie Heffron was. That was a nice left hand there from 
Gavin, which landed fairly flush. Yeah, the hand's been timing the Gavin at the moment, just giving Vassell a lot of problems. Like I said, you know, he's, he's, he's boxing a 12 round fight, isn't he, Vassell? Trying to wear Gavin down, trying to make him work a lot, trying to tire him out, hoping that his training has been a little bit dirty there with the, with the, with the shoulder there from Gavin, but hoping Gavin's training has been a little bit lax. Good left hand again there from Frankie Gavin. Doesn't move the cell though, does it? No, he takes a shot, doesn't he? Punching a boulder. <laughs> That's better from the cell, just dipping, dipping low, nice and low. He needs to come back with the punches now. He's making the right movements. Then the cell. Vassell trying to work inside. Gavin going in low with his head again, and the referee will be mindful of that and it could be another ticking off well he gets away with it this time that's a lovely right hand from gavin it's a good jab i think i think Fazel can take that as long as he once he gets once he gets caught with that jab Fazel should just unload straight away it's a right hand from Vassell and his supporters respond and another one A lot of coverage in Manchester as this fight for Denton Vassell. Big article in the Manchester Evening News tonight. Again with the shoulder there, Frankie Gavin. It's a few times now he's done that. Vassell's coming up strong, good right hand. That's his best punch so far. Gavin had rocked back on those ropes, and Vassell now starts to pile on the pressure this is what we've been waiting for and he took the jab didn't he Purcell then he threw that right hand as soon as he got caught he threw that right hand straight away it's what you've been saying Barry and again Purcell forcing Gavin back across the ring one punch one big punch and that's given the Vassell fans real cause for hope. Yeah, John, and for me, that was maybe just enough in a close round just to nick it to Vassell. I think Gavin still boxed well in parts of that round, but maybe tiring a little bit, and rightly so, he's had to work so hard. That's that right hand. Good shot, and then Vassell kept him on the ropes for a while, then worked away when he could. But Gavin still being elusive, wasn't he? You know, turning that shoulder, rolling, dipping low, trying to make Vassell miss. Good shot. He rode it though, didn't he? Be fair to, to Gavin. Having the rubs to his back means he can lean back, take a bit of the weight off that shot. Denton Vassell looking altogether happier, I suspect, after that fifth round. And the crowd feel that this one, which has been simmering a little bit untidily and messily, is now starting to come to the boil. Still needs to keep moving our head though, Denton Purcell. Nice job, Purcell. Oh, and then he walked straight into a right hand from Gavin. And his knees dipped just a little bit there, John. Could he caught that flush? It's that sort of fight, isn't it? <laughs> Gavin just twisting and turning, isn't he? Not making it an easy target for Vassell to catch. been a lot of holding and mauling in this fight well to be fair it's a lot of down to Gavin isn't it he's doing the right thing for the in tactically getting close to the cell not letting him work because he's the one who's, who's doing the holding doing the mauling so much at stake here as the heads clash once more nice body shots good right hand from the cell Ah, oh, 
pass, a nice right hand from Gavin, who uses his footwork as well to get away. Cassell trying to power on the pressure, but just can't find the big, clean shot he needs. Good work from Gavin again, defensively. Oh, he's boxing beautiful. Oh, oh lovely left shot. cross. Beautiful shot from Gavin. And Cassell just finds him too hard to hit, isn't he? Gavin makes Vassell look cumbersome. Again, good job. Good round this for Gavin thus far. Yeah, Vassell's tried to put pressure on him, hasn't he? But he's just been caught coming in. Gavin's footwork's been superb. Beautiful. Right hand, left hand, Gavin. And look at the way in which his confidence is growing inviting Vassell to come in now. Gloves held low. Nice left hand again from Gavin, who boxed beautifully in that round. We see it now, that backhand caught in flush. His legs just dipped just ever so slightly, didn't they, Vassell? He takes a good shot and he's his fitness there kept him on his feet, I think. And then that, that was a right hook that you pointed out, John. And then he just span away lovely, didn't he, into the, into the space. Gavin, uh, Vassell tried to chase him on, but Gavin picked him off again. Listen, concentrate on the next round. Not the ones I just told you about. The ones are gone, are gone, yeah? Let's get the ones in the back, coming up the front, yeah? They're gone. Let's bring the ones coming, coming forward. Deep breath, right? Yeah. Tom Chain, you suspect, yeah, only too well aware ball. about the fitness and the engine of Denton Vassell. Get those rounds in the bag. Well, what Into the second half of the fight. He's telling Gavin to be stay focused. He's saying, forget about the rounds that you won. Worry about the rounds that you've got to win. And that's, that's really good advice for someone like Frank. You can switch off at times. Halfway stage of the fight, then. We've got Gavin well clear. But the cell so dangerous. That's better from the cell again. Stay nice and low. Move that head. He just can't close the gap, can he, Vassell? He's, he's trying to, he's looking for angles, he's trying to move his head a little bit. The gap is just so accurate. He's fought defensively, such a cute fight, Gavin. It's not always been pretty to watch, but Vassell has just not been able to get to him. No, when he does get close, he twists and turns, ties him up, gets close as he possibly can to him. Does give him opportunity to work. Because when Vassell has been allowed to work, he, you know, he, he's landed with some good shots, but just hasn't been often enough. Gavin again, bamboozling Vassell.
Purcell just waiting a little bit too long. It's only like half a second too long to let the punches go. That's enough time for Gavin to move or throw his shots. Purcell has not really found the answer to the simple fact that Gavin is a southpaw. Yeah, he hadn't get his foot on the outside for a start. He hadn't to get the, the territorial advantage. Another round for Gavin. Vassell is starting to look a bit disconsolate as he goes back to the corner. spotted something yeah, with yeah. Denton Vassell's jaw, I yeah. think. We'll look at that jaw now. Yeah. And he's calling the doctor to have a look. I'm not sure yeah. that this is going to be going on too long. Referee, the doctor shakes his head. Now let's have a look at this. No. You see a swelling on the right hand side. And bleeding inside. No, he's broken. Referee Howard Foster spotted that and he's worried that he might have a broken jaw. It's going to be all over, it stopped it. They pulled him out, they pulled him out. His jaw had gone. The fight's all over. Denton Vassell beaten by the speed and the accuracy, the tactics of Frankie Gavin, who tonight fought a very very smart fight it was on the line if he'd lost tonight it would have been a very very difficult rebuilding job but he boxed in my opinion very well tonight Barry he came up against his, he came, he came up against his biggest challenge tonight John I'm comfortable with flying colours box superb against, a, against an undefeated fighter who could punch was strong was technically quite good and Gavin just schooled him this is hollow what to say but he did and that, that broken jaw was a, was a testament to Gavin's accuracy, hitting him right on the button every time. Well, broken jaw, we suspect, but there is certainly a, a swelling there, and the doctor had a close look, and quite clearly they weren't happy that he should be allowed to continue, even though Denton Vassell said it didn't hurt. But he was banging in some big shots. That might be one which caused the damage, but there were plenty of others as well. Gave it his best, Denton Vassell, but he couldn't cope with the slippery, slap, slippery southpaw skills of Frankie Gavin. He was just superb tonight, wasn't he? And as we suspected, on his game, he's a world-class athlete. He said, if he can, and he's dedicated now, and he's proved it. And look how it's another phenomenal performance. And we're looking at another future world champion. He has got so much talent, this fella. Some people would say, is he properly a welterweight? Well, he's beaten a fully-fledged welterweight here. Yeah, that's right, you know, and, and I think Marcel didn't do too many things wrong either. You know, he, he done a lot of the right things. He stole, he tried to steal Gavin's space. Tried to dip and dip and roll his head and move forward. But Gavin's just so accurate, isn't he? This distance and time is exceptional, and his accuracy is second to none. And Marcel just got beat by what proved to be the better man. There is Frankie Gavin, now undefeated in 16 fights. Definitely top of the domestic pile. The question is, how quickly does he move on to world level? It's getting closer, quite definitely. Yeah, you wouldn't, well, there wouldn't be too many fighters, especially in Europe, you wouldn't be afraid of putting him in with right now, isn't there? I can think of one Kel Brook who'd fancy the task. Be a, be a hell of a fight, John, that's for sure. And Frankie Gavin is, a somebody, is somebody who I have always thought is going to go all the way to a world title. And I haven't seen anything to dissuade me from that opinion tonight. He boxed really well. Denton Vassell, ultimately, it's tough to say, but he was outclassed. And now here is confirmation of the result from Michael Burdis. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for both boxers. At the end of the seventh round, your referee has stopped the contest on the advice of the doctor. So the winner and the British and Commonwealth welterweight champion in the blue corner from Birmingham, 
Frankie Gavin.